here we have the Eco Bee Nester. It's made out of an amazing plant starch, so it will in time biodegrade, but not until you've had years of use encouraging solitary bees into your garden. We're here just in front of our veggie plot, and that's a great place to be encouraging solitary bees because they are fantastic pollinators. So if you're trying to grow food, then you really want your pollinators in to help with that process. But even if you're growing flowers, having good pollination is key to getting those longer, better blooms. With this product, you can see there are cardboard tubes within it, and this will be used by either the mason bee or the leaf cutter bees. Each year, they will emerge at the start of the summer, and then they will do the pollinating in your garden, and then they will come back and lay their eggs inside the tube again. You can see here we are just in front of a veggie plot, which is an excellent place to encourage pollinating bees into, or any sunny, flower-rich part of your garden. We found a post here and we've hung it at about just between one and one and a half meters, which is ideal. It's a sunny spot, it's out of the prevailing wind, and you just need to be careful that it's not getting all the rainfall inside it. I'm just going to show you how you can replace the tubes. So when you see your pollinating bees are leaving the tubes in around April or May, you may find on some years that there's a tube that just doesn't hatch. And you may notice this when all of the others have hatched or you may not notice it until the end of the summer when you can see that it's the same one that was filled from the year before and it just hasn't hatched. In that instance, it's really easy to just pull these tubes out. You may need to do it if they've got a bit wet or if they're looking like they're dirty, um, if they've got pests inside them, anything obvious that doesn't look like it's a nice, clean, dry environment for the bees. You can simply take that tube out and replace it with a new tube and that nice clean dry tube will be the perfect environment for solitary bees to then come in and nest again. Once the tubes are full or the season is ended, so at the end of summer, we also provide this woodpecker guard. So you'll know your tubes are full because you'll have little bits of leaf or mud at the end of each one, which indicates that each of the tubes is full of baby bees, baby bee eggs. And you can just place the woodpecker cover over it. That stops them from pecking away and eating all of them over the winter. And then next summer, you can either take it off or there are holes in it. So the bees will be able to find their way out as well. Once you have your eco bee nester in place and your garden is rich in pollen and nectar providing plants, you can sit back and just enjoy observing the bees in your garden.